Hi everyone, as you may have noticed I've cleaned up the channel a lot, deleting a whole load of old videos and given it a bit of a makeover, so basically I'm relaunching. But let's get to it with today's featured art kit, the iconic Faber Castell 9000 pencil. So what's so special about a Faber Castell 9000 pencil? It is just a pencil after all. While I didn't use the term iconic flippantly, excluding mechanical or special function pencils, these are pretty much the benchmark for quality, functionality, reliability and the standard design of pencils since 1905, would you believe? It was launched by the fabulously named Count Alexandra von Faber-Castell. Now, you wouldn't want to argue with him, would you? The pencils run through 16 grades, would you believe? 6H to 8B with a B and an F grade. I've noticed though that different suppliers advertise slightly different ranges, so be sure to check that out. The 9000 art set, which has 12 pencils, go through finely graded degrees of hardness from 8B to 2H. Put simply, the B range gets softer and therefore blacker, while the H range gets harder the higher the number. That system is pretty much standard for any pencil brand. The 9000 is beautiful to use, feels very classic in its forest green livery. There's gold embossed data, as well as the country of origin, Germany of course, as the grade of lead and branding, and one reminds you that it's coated with water-based varnish. That's good to know from an environmental point of view, and if you're a pencil chewer as well, I guess. There is sadly a hideous barcode printed down one face of the hexagonal body, but I guess that's an acceptable alternative to having to peel off loads of gooey labels on every pencil. The lead, which is really graphite of course, is actually glued to the wood surround throughout. That, I believe, is unlike some other manufacturers. The result is that it's extra resistant to breaking. It's good to know. Famously, they occasionally test pencils at the factory by dropping some out of the high tower window to the courtyard below. As I mentioned, the body is hexagonal, which is one of those small details which I like. Simply relying on it to stay where I put it down is a clear benefit, a benefit only appreciated fully when you've got a desk covered with pens, crayons, pencils, with round profiles and everything is rolling round everywhere. Oh, they're also available in a chunky jumbo size and there's the version with a cap. Faber-Castell are apparently the world's biggest pencil manufacturer and while being big rarely means good quality, in this case it absolutely does. While I love all my fancy pencils, limited editions, vintage and contemporary mechanical models, there really is a classic vibe to the 9000s. Paired with a quality sharpener or blade and they are good to go in any location or studio. So whether rough sketching or meticulous detailing is your bag, a set of these beautiful wood-barrelled pencils are simply lovely to use. 